mean, I, I won't say the guy's name. This is a pro. And uh, we'll just say in the last few years, and I was talking to him, and I was talking about his prep. And um, he said, uh, he, I said, what have you done differently for this prep in particular? And he says, oh, I've started using instant. And I says, I knew you were going to say that. And I see, he says, well, how do you know that? I said, well, I've seen your physique not really change, but your waist has got thicker. I says, and that yeah. tells me straight away that you've been using insulin. But his actual physique actually, in my opinion, hadn't actually changed. So I've got yeah. a very, I'm diabetic. I have a very negative view of insulin. I really... I just, like you said, it might, it might drive nutrients to the muscle, but, you know, people with, you know, so does glucose and creatine. It's like, I don't think it really actually builds quality muscle. What's your opinion? I think, um, as I said before, you've got to be uh, correcting your dosages and people use far too much. And I believe when they use more than they need, mm -hmm. that's when the problems arise with the stomach issues and um, combine that with other things like growth hormone. Um, and I think that, what they get is a, a thicker skin or a layer of visceral fat under the skin that you can't really see. It's maybe organ fat, but definitely waste extensions are, are down to misuse and abuse of these certain substances. I, think um, I would say to people a, a small amount to do a, a little bit of a job with transport yeah. is all you need. And as you say, it's not a massive muscle builder. People think they're going to put on 20 pounds, 30 pounds. It's just stupid. It's not the case. Well, what I actually, I, I, I'll disagree with that as well because what I think actually happens, it does put 20 or 30 pounds on, but it, it just puts like bloat, bloat or water in the muscle. And then when yeah. they diet down, I don't think they, I, I've seen this in bodybuilders where they, I remember a middleweight guy and he went up to like 100 kilos in the off season. He said the pumps were amazing and his, this was amazing. And when he dieted down, he hadn't put any muscle on and he actually ended up with a, with a, with a, with a gut. So for me, I, like I said, I'm very negative towards it. I just find it... I find it, uh, I wish it never come into bodybuilding. I mean, I remember yeah. when Dorian used it, he said he used it in 1997, and I think his physique suffered for it. But like you said, uh, Milos has always been a proponent of it, and um, maybe people just are misusing it. But for my, for my personal opinion, I think it has no place in bodybuilding. I really don't.